And here we go. Monday, tooth. The wordplay is so crazy. I love it. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday week. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, seven days a week. Every hour, every minute, every second, you know, not every night. I'll be loving you by seven days a week. What's up, everybody? My name is Jessica Holyfield, and I'm a dance educator, professional dancer, and uh, dance teacher based out of the southeast of the USA and today I'm going to be reacting to Jungkook's 7 dance performance. So I'm very excited about this for a couple of reasons. Firstly, um, a lot of the dancers that are in this piece, uh, they I've, I've seen their work and I've seen their journey um, as performers and as choreographers. So it's really cool to see like a full circle moment of them being a part of this project with Jungkook. And uh, secondly, the song's super catchy. It's a super, super fun vibe. Um, and I am a huge fan of John Bellion, and I know he is affiliated with the inception of the song or the production of the song. So there's just a couple, a couple of those factors, which is why I'm really excited. Uh, so how I normally do these is I'm going to do an initial reaction, and then we're gonna kind of go back and decipher and do a little bit of that. So um, yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Great choice with white on a black background. Ooh. Like it's nothing too too crazy. Okay, new choreo, new course. Uh, yeah, it really looks like everybody's thoroughly enjoying this. Yeah. Okay. Love it. Okay, dancers are like, I'm gonna go take a break. <laughs> Love it. He does it. Uh, get you some water. You worked hard. You look, he didn't even break a freaking sweat. Look at that. You know why? BTS choreo is hard. And this is not, when it comes to the scale, this one is such a vibe, intermediate to advanced, not like the Keone hard. This is a vibe though. You better count, let's go. <sighs> Thank you for being there. It just makes sense. Yep. Light change is great here. Okay, James. We see. We see. Yeah, man. That was good. That was good. I'm a fan. I'm a fan. Okay, so let's talk. Initial reaction. I really like the costume choice a lot because I think that it. Because first example is the base that they hit. 
in the very beginning. Let me go to about right here. So you walk. So I have it on 0.75 just so it we can see things a little bit more clear. That bass right there. So you saw them all go boom. And when you have clothes like this, a lot of them have a more like sheer material. Um, and they're a bit oversized as well. You're gonna get that extra, that extra fabric is going to rebound even after your initial rebound is done. And that's gonna really help in the case if you want something to extend and longevity when you're trying to justify a particular sound. So because of that bass, that boom, even though that bass isn't really there anymore, it's not, but it bleeds into, it bleeds into the next, uh, right? Um, but that, that just really helped make it feel more full. And I think that's the trend in all this choreo. Shoulders right there. All of it just is dragging it out and they're using their chest a lot in this. And R&B, this is an R&B aesthetic. I don't think it's, I don't think it's in the R&B like genre though. Cause I think it's the BPM is a little bit too, too quick. And there's a lot of extra timbre that doesn't really match that. So that bit right there waist and this position a lot of times waist you would think just here or here but they chose to do a high and a mid and that is a, honestly a more intimate position because whenever somebody's holding somebody by their head and by their waist in in media or when you see it in real life it feels like they're really trying to like safeguard them and it's more intimate i feel and i feel like we've already established though like this is a super intimate type song especially the explicit um so it's it makes though that kind of choice is just i think it's it's tasteful in the fact that it's establishing that level of intimacy in more of an easter egg way it was a nice nice little nuances i like the nuances the dancers have the liberty to make whenever they're doing this this performance so like i said earlier they're doing threading right here so i'm gonna turn it down just a little bit a little bit of threading here and you also notice that they're repeating on both sides and I think that that's appropriate for the song because when he's he's saying the phrase and repeating it and so it it the choreography is making sense on a musicality standpoint it is repeating it but on the it but mirrored um on both sides so I, I think it's really nice you don't want to do too much with this kind of stuff and right there it's pretty self-explanatory I don't think I need to elaborate on it because I do it a couple times um you know what kind of song it is and that is to be expected uh but also notice everybody's clothed so it has a sense of tastefulness to it in comparison to if nobody was wearing clothes you know so it's all about it's all about context yep and i really like the floor work that they still stayed low so it allows a moment for john cook as he sings like you see them transition though so there's still movement right And here we go, Monday, tooth. the wordplay is so crazy. I love it. So it's not overly complicated. It is polyrhythmic because they are moving their lower half. So they just, they switch the weight and then they switch their feet. But what they're doing is their arms are, the focal point is the upper body or the arms. The legs kind of complement and give depth to the upper body performance. So, but notice they went Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, but they kept the same move, but just grooved it out on Friday, Saturday, Sunday, because a lot of times we consider that the weekend. And um, so, and I feel like whenever you see the guitar inception of that, for me, I've seen it most frequently on a foundational scale under locking, like the funky guitar, right? But uh, of course they don't have locking, uh, a locking aesthetic here or an influence, um, but it is really cool to kind of see that kind of vibe, right? Um, it's not really funky, but it's it's cool that, that it's like cool, like an R&B cool version. So it's just they're vibing out. And that move right there, I think, was a good choice to break up the intricacy of the first half of the week into the weekend. Saturday, Sunday of the week of the week. So they, they helped you hear week by creating a very static position at the end of that syllable, which was really nice. Yep. So, and there, I, I'm this groove right here, just having that opposition with that chest and it's complementing that hand. It just looks really nice to be able to see that and be like, yeah, 
this is this is it seven days a week and you notice in their upper body too like there you can tell when they're like thoroughly enjoying it and there's a part in here that i'll probably stop on that jungkook you he looks super vibey with it um i think it's in the second course though seven days a week every hour every minute wordplay right there on a watch yep So they did the this part right here. So they rebounded it over from position one to position two. It goes night after night. And I think that was a really smart choice because whenever you're repeating a phrase or night after night, uh, it is nice to um, kind of frame it similarly to how you frame the word. So the words of night after night, and these are same words, doing a move and then transitioning over to the other side, but making it similar kind of creates a really nice, it just, it cognitively, cognitively feels more full and it feels more complete whenever you connect it that way. So I think that was a really smart choice. And then seven, so they chose to use seven, like the number seven, I don't know which way, but but yeah, I, 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 was a, I like that, it's cool. A little freestyle moment. This, for me, feels like dance break. <laughs> I love it. Uh, and then I don't know if you noticed this, but Jungkook did a great job of establishing direction on where the camera needed to go. Very nice. You want to hear that? Boom. So right there. So he chose to do the lean and then they transition over into their next little section. And then as he leaned and he went back and he snapped back, he's like, hey, here's where I want to set up this formation. It's over here. Usage of space is very full. Great speed change there just to give him that moment of physical spotlight, even though he's the vocal spotlight, obviously. But just having having him there, it's just a nice physical visual so you remember he's the singer of this. That was a nice moment too because everybody used their lower half their legs where he used, ready? Everybody used their upper body. He, Jungkook, was the only one who didn't use his legs at all. He just used his body. Everybody else framed it out with their legs. So I know the back people probably used uh, towards the inside, and then I think my front people went towards the outside. And that was just really nice. It was a good frame. Nice, nice walk. Deeper than the ocean is. So ocean, a lot of times in dance and street styles, waving is a great style. It is the closest affiliation to water. Obvious reasons because waving is also influenced because of the water. So when he goes deeper than the ocean is, like having that waving influence, it's 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 wordplay but on a fundamental scale, which was super super dope. I love it. Then they thread again, but they're in different positions, I believe. And then I feel like they did instead of one big one, they did two in two different positions. So that was like a modification or a progression from the first first time they did that, which of course ups the level of intimacy of the type of song it is. And then very nice. So whenever there it is. Okay, so whenever you have them like around or rapping a lot of times you're gonna see dancers do those kind of choices. I would do the same because any type of wrapping, you can think threading, which is what you saw earlier, um, like a wrapping of the head, wrapping of the arms, waving into a connection. A lot of times you'll see people make those choices because um, whenever you freestyle, which is what you notice here, there's a lot of little nuances of freestyle. Uh, like in that instance right there, after they after they do this section, they're free over here, yep. Good, and the give me life, that was their moment, but also he said in the previous phrase, uh, something about rapping, right? Um, so it just gives them, gives that, that moment, they give context before and after, and so in their freestyle moment, they're able to keep it concise with the choreography that they've done. That's another, that's another freestyle moment. They freestyle, but they had to be practical in how to finish it in order for it to not be cut off, but then everybody come back together. And this is more of, they, they were picking up the pace of the groove, so they were making it a little bit more full in movement. Because they're all dancing together, they have that option. There we go, right there. I'm gonna backtrack just a second to reference the look on his face. Saturday, Sunday. That right there, that was real. 
I'll tell you why. Because whenever you have, because remember, Jungkook, BTS, they they have been known. One of the things that put them on the map early on in their careers was the difficulty of their choreography. They were, their choreography was hard. I mean, Kyoni, yeah, Kyoni on on their mess, like for Fire and for Dope and for a lot of the ones where they were starting to get picking up in popularity uh, globally, those are hard. So for me, a lot of that kind of choreo where you're just doing a chug like that, that feels so like the moment of freedoms like Saturday Sunday like it's just having this kind of groove built in and then having a lot of those types of digs or those types of chugs it just feels like the energy just hits a little different compared to whenever you're trying to just go intricate intricate all the time and dying so I'm gonna be honest I think John Cook probably likes this choreo a lot I would hope uh, because it, and the dancers too, because it is not so dense and physically demanding in the sense of in, in complexity. So it, it has simple movements to it and the grooves are meant to be chill, laid back. And what comes with that is discipline and control in how you choose to extrovert or engage into your movements. So I think Jungkook likes the choreo and it showed on his face just then. I don't think that was a facade because it's way more chill you know to look at that they get to walk walk more than just two counts like they get to sit and like come on <laughs> second yep and the dancers dancers like this choreo too you can tell they're like yeah yeah he ain't breaking a sweat this is just this is child's play Oh, look at that, seven days a week. But that is also playing onto the groove that they did earlier as a group, but it was bigger, but he made it smaller because of the camera angle that was there. So smart on his part shows his uh, maturity as a veteran in the industry. There's the rebound again. Very nice. And then I know from here, they're chilling out. They get a water break, they go off. I'm gonna skip that if that's okay with everybody. Everybody comes back on. Now notice, they're not just gonna basket run or dip. They're gonna pulse it. And this is such like a, like a 2000s R&B, like, uh, uh, like whenever they're talking, they're conversing, like Usher, it's a bit of, they're like, uh. You know, they're going down. That was a really cool choice where they're still low or you still see Jungkook as the reference point but you see them all dip down but they're still doing something and they're still in it underneath not just the surface level of what the song is but they're riding the beat underneath without making it a big show and I think that's the trend of the whole choreography is it's not a huge show but it's very captivating because it's so laid back and I think that was the intention of the choreographer I, I'm always a fan of good wordplay, and I think the wordplay was very tasteful. And I think I've said that a couple times already. And look, they're all like karaoke. Very nice. They're doing pops right here. So those are arm pops. But if you want to look at this dancer here, I believe his name is Brian Puspos. Um, he's doing more of a puppeting, scarecrow-like texture in his arms. Now, uh, that is a little different than just like your typical Fresno. A Fresno... Uh, the, the structure and the timing is a little different, but for that, they're like, they're hitting a very particular part of the music. And so for me, a pop was super appropriate there, and I'm so glad they put it, and I think I said that earlier. But I really like Brian's choice to, to kind of make it a little bit, to make those arms dangle a little bit more. But I just want to let you know, like, there's there's a, a whole branch genre of a popping texture that's Scarecrow or Puppeting, if you want to look into that, that he does, and that was, that's cool. Yep, that right there, if you don't know what it is, it's gonna, it shows up a lot in media, it shows up in a lot in dances, that's James Brown. So it goes heel toe, heel toe, heel toe, and then what foot slides in. I did do some research before I watched this video. Um, I know, I don't know if Lyle was affiliated with this, but he, it showed on what I saw that he is affiliated with this performance, possibly, as a choreographer. Um, and I know Sienna too, but um, anyway, it's okay. It's, it's, it's okay if it's a little off. Um, but he adds the James, that James Brown move a lot in his choreography specifically. So there is a good chance that he may be the one who put that in there, which for me, I'm like, that's fine because it's very, it matches, it works. And uh, James Brown is one of the fundamental artists 
and uh, just his importance in uh, the, in the hip hop street culture in the street community is second to none. So I would say the more James Brown in something, the better it is in my book personally. But he throws it. Lighting change really helps because they're doing the same choreography again as they did in the first course. But then they add a nice hip thrust there. Seven days a week. Oh, they just did it twice, which is nice. That same groove is like a reset in dancers. And then they added they added um, more of a footwork. I, I don't know if it was a, not a butterfly. It was a type of Afro-influenced footwork there. It is similar to what they did. I think there was a BTS comeback a little bit ago where they added that move. I've, the name escapes me. Um, but that is the... That is the move that was in there, so it feels like they added that in here as an influence to what he's done in the past. But notice how chill they are in the upper body to where it's really hard to figure out what they're doing in the lower half. That shows their fluency and the isolation between the two grooves, which is a which is important when you want to get a certain visual off. And then there's that James Brown, James Brown move again. And then he goes seven days a week. That was nice. All in all, I'm a I'm a I'm a fan. I'm the fan of the connection between the movement to the music. I think they had a blast doing it. I saw there's a they did like a performance on Good Morning America. Um, they literally they were having a great time, and I enjoyed watching. The music video was fun too, and um, yeah. Thank you for, for sticking it out with me. I hope you enjoyed. I hope this was helpful in some way. Uh, if you have any questions, have any recommendations for me, I would love to be able to uh, curate what I look at uh, more towards what you guys uh, would feel would be more beneficial for yourself. So, but thanks for watching and I'll catch you on the flip side. Bye.